The Goodman Owls would like to recognize and say thank you to our 2015-16 Teacher of the Year, Ms. Chantel Webb. We would like to spotlight some of the things that are going on in her classroom that we think are amazing, as well as have her answer what makes Goodman the best place to work in Fort Bend ISD. Okay, this is our teacher of the year at Goodman Elementary, Ms. Chantel Webb. And I have a few questions I would like to ask you. Question number one, what inspired you to become a teacher? Well, I've been blessed to um, have grandparents that are, um, that were very loving and caring and inspired us to uh, be educated. My grandfather now is 93 years old. I remember stories of when he was younger. He would tell us about how hard it was and would motivate us to um, make sure that his children were educated and his children's children were educated. So my grandfather uh, was my inspiration because he only finished third or fourth grade, but he's still the smartest man that I know. So my grandfather was my inspiration and I was blessed enough to teach at a school that I went to school, my teachers that taught me inspired me also to um, just do my very best. My grandfather would always say, when you do your best, then there's nothing left to do. And when you can sleep at night, then you know your job has been done. So even when I go home, I'm from New Orleans, when I go home to visit, I see often many of my kids that I taught um, 13 years ago, and they're in their 20s now. And so they tell me thank you. And that in itself is um, something that keeps me going. It keeps me going. It keeps me motivated and energetic. And when I see my little babies this year, every year the children change. Um, and so it just inspires you to look at them and want to take them and mold them into uh, great readers and, you know, great writers and, and mathematicians. And so I think that that part in itself inspires me to want to do, do it for more years than I've been doing it now. Thank you. Thank you. My next question is, what do you enjoy most about being a teacher here at Goodman Elementary? Well, my first year here at Goodman was last year. Um, I walked into a, a school where it was very inviting. Um, the teachers here were very um, motivating. They were welcoming. And um, the staff, you know, really welcomed me, even though I was new to the district. Um, you know, were able to, I was able to um, come in and try to implement some things that I had learned along, you know, my teaching career. Um, helping um, other teachers that were first year teachers was my, my, my greatest joy. Um, a couple of teachers that were uh, in my pod in first grade, we would have a little competition, you know, and I would motivate them to want to do better than what I'm doing. So each uh, holiday or, or whatever we were doing, I would try to put something up and then they would try to outdo me. Oh, you want to you wanna put something up, huh? Well, we're going to do it a little bit better. And so that in itself helped me to want to do better. Um, the group of teachers that I taught with this year and last year made me or make me into uh, the teacher that I am um, because they inspired me to want to be a better teacher. So... Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. If there's anything that you can challenge yourself to be better at, what do you think that is? I think that each year we come across kids that are um, a little bit more challenging than the year before. And I just want to make sure that all of my students that I, I encounter I want to make sure that I leave a lasting impression on them, that they understand that I was the teacher that helped to mold them into um, a better reader. So I, I, I think that with 
That being said, I want to make sure that I'm up to date on technology, up to date on our curriculum, up to date on um, everything that has to do with making sure that my kids are better, greater than everyone else. So I think that that in itself um, is something that I challenge myself to do. What's been the funniest thing that's ever happened to you here at Goodman? What has just made you <laughs> laugh over? Um, Mr. Guyon. Why? Mr. Guyon is um, one of the bilingual teachers we met uh, last year. And um, from my understanding, Mr. Guyon is um, not very talkative. He's, he's usually laid back and quiet. And one of the teachers um, said one day we had twin day. And Mr. Guyon was my twin. We had on little bitty green hats and, and some um, matching jeans and, and matching shirts. And so when they when they saw when they saw us together, he was like uh, talking and, and and smiling and laughing and he was excited, and uh, so it was like oh, okay, so you can bring all that out of Mr. Guy on. I was like yeah, you know sometimes we can do that, <laughs> but it it uh, I laughed the whole day at Mr. Guy on because he was so excited to have on a little green hat. I just think that he um, he needed somebody to bring it out of him, you know. So uh, we, we try to have fun. We try to have fun. And let me see. What's another kind of crazy question I can ask you? Hmm. Oh, well, here's an intelligent question off mm -hmm. the wall. If there could be one technology accessory you can have in your classroom, if you could mm -hmm. dream big, what would it be? I don't know if it's dreaming really, really big, but I would love to have more computers except you know, we just have three, but uh, with all of the technology and all of the programs that they have now, um, you know, we have a cart with the, the iPads in it. I would love for each one of my children to have the iPads. And, and I went to a, um, a workshop this summer and they, it was just on science, but they showed us how to make videos and how to implement the, um, them making their own videos and then going in and writing questions to go along with after you pull, um, you know, different scenery. It helps you to put it together and then you come up with a story and then you ask questions and that way they can send it to someone else in the classroom and they can answer, read their story, answer the questions. And I think that that's fun. You know, it helps them to learn. So if I could get anything, I would love for my children to all have iPads. iPads. Mm -hmm. Class set of iPads. Yes. Okay, we'll make sure to say that one more time. Class set of iPads. Class set of iPads. The brand new ones, right? Brand new. <laughs> With a hard, big, big old drive space on there, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Before we conclude, I would love for you to see our teacher of the year in her classroom as she begins her lessons on teaching main idea. Finish going through this and we do our main idea. Then you're going to go to your groups and your books that you have in your workstation. That's the book that you're going to use to practice your main idea. Everybody understand? Yes. Okay. Let's back up. All the way. Okay. So what's the title of our story? Sea animals. So if we want to find out the main idea of a story, tell me some things that can help us find the main idea. Tell me something that helps us to find a main idea, Dana. You can look at you can look at the page. You can look at the um, pictures. You can look at the pictures. The pictures help. Yes. You can look at the. Who can help Nicholas? Who can help Nicholas? In this, this week in reading, we've been discussing what? Main idea. idea. Main idea. So tell me what the main idea of sea animals, what's the main idea of that story, Kara? The main supporting details helps us with the main idea, but what does main idea mean? It, it means the... Uh, what that story is what? Mainly about. What that story is mainly about? The animals. The animals. And when we read our story, we realized that our story, what's our main idea of that story, sea animals? We said our main idea is what? The, the, am, the what? The, uh, the, the main idea. The sea is full of what, Kara? 
Animals. Full of sea animals. This concludes our 2015-16 Teacher of the Year video with Ms. Chantel Webb, a proud Lulabelle Goodman teacher. Thank you so much.